Hey there, everybody. It's Wayne D. Francesco, and welcome to the website. Or if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, uh, please consider joining the website where you'll find 50 free videos right away. And uh, if you want to see the rest of the stuff, uh, you can join up for a small fee. This is the tip of the week, and today we're going to look at one of my general instructions to players of all levels, and that's to think of the golf swing as a sidearm throwing motion. So on the left here, you'll have Ben Hogan. This is a swing from 1956. I think you'll see as Hogan starts his motion where he got his idea for a sidearm throwing. Now, here on the right is Darren O'Day. Baltimore Orioles pitcher. Let's watch this motion here. So what we're looking at is the way the arm moves to drive the elbow inward with the the ball in this case lagging back behind him. So when you look at that motion right here and then there, that ball's hanging back. This is what Hogan thought about now, there's a bunch of stuff going on when you think of sidearm motion. First of all, it encourages the lower body, which is going to lead the movement in sequence, to move out of the way. It's going to encourage the, the hands to head out toward the golf ball. And most importantly, it's going to take the right arm structure and move it in front of the chest and as a net result and you can see when the if O'Day had a club in his hand here and it was pointed this way when he did that he'd lay it back so that's exactly what Hogan is doing now in Hogan's book the five lessons he put a number of pictures in the book that were very interesting and had to do with the elbow. There's one of them. You can see his thought of tying the waist to the wrists. And there's another one. Now this one's really clear. You've got the the sidearm basketball throw or medicine ball throw and you can see it again the the elbow coming in front of the body and at delivery point here down at the bottom of the swing the right arm is still going to be bent and then in case that wasn't clear enough he's just going to take a ball and toss it so I do a lot of ball tossing with my students even the, the best of them, we try to think of it as a sidearm throw. So if we go back to his swing, you're going to see him demonstrate that. There's two great swings of his from behind. Here's an earlier version, 1947 or 8. And again, the thing to focus on here is the movement of the hands and arms and the unwinding of the body. So I prefer to think of this as everything going this way. The hands initially here and the upper body turning out of the way also. Some people will call the outward movement of the hands an over-the-top move, but my point is always that you can't be over-the-top when the shaft is progressively leaning back initially. So we'll watch the shaft progression here. the beauty 
have a correctly done sidearm motion. Now to throw that low sidearm like we saw O'Day throw, you need to create space for yourself and you can see definitely that Hogan is creating more space so the deep hips as we watch him go back keeping his head out over the ball causing the pivot to gain posture and the head to lower so there you go try to think in general terms of the golf swing as that sidearm throwing motion by an infielder after picking up a ground ball. And I think that'll help you out. That's the tip of the week, and I am Wayne D.